Welcome back guys to our 8th part of our tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create shopping list. But first, let's create a button in our activity underscore main dot xml file. We'll actually create a floating action button. Let's set the width to wrap content and the height also to wrap content. Let's assign it an ID. Let's say simply FAB. Let's set the gravity to bottom and end. Let's also set the margin bottom to 16 dp and the margin end also to 16 dp. And looks pretty nice. Let's also set the source from drawable, from an existing drawable. Let's also set the clickable to true and the focusable to also to true. Now let's find our button and set on click listener on it. So floating action button FAB equals find view by ID R dot ID dot FAB. Now FAB set on click listener. And inside the onClick method, let's add an alert dialog. Alert dialog dot builder builder equals new alert dialog dot builder and pass our main activity. Now let's set the title. Let's say create shopping list. Now let's create an edit text. Edit text equals new edit text and pass our main activity. Now let's set the input type and pass input type type class text or input type type text flag cap words. Now let's set the hint. Let's say type a name. Let's set the hint text color to color gray. And now let's set the edit text view to our builder view. Builder set view and pass the edit text object. Now let's create the buttons. Builder set positive button. Let's name it create. Let's pass as a second argument a dialog interface on click listener. Let's put a semicolon. Inside the on click method, let's create a string named shopping list name, which is equal to edit text, get text to string. And let's call trim in the end. Now we can call a method name add shopping list and pass the shopping list name as an argument. But let's keep this line of code commented for the moment. Let's create the second button, set negative button, let's name it cancel. Let's pass again a dialog interface on click listener as the second argument. Inside the onClick, we just simply call this miss method on our dialog interface object. To keep the thing simple, let's replace this with the, with the lambda expression, also here and also here. There is one more thing that we need to do. We need to create the other dialog, which is equal to builder dot create and now we need to show dialer dialog and that was it with our dialog if you remember from our third video we need to add the shopping list beneath shopping lists collections 
user email document and user shopping list collections. Let's create a reference for this. Let's make it global, private collections reference and name it user shopping lists ref. Now let's initialize it in our on create method. equals root ref dot collection and pass shopping lists and then call document and pass the user email and now let's call collection and pass user shopping lists. And now let's create this method. We have private void at shopping list and pass string name it shopping list name. First we need to get the shopping list ID. So for that We need to get the reference user shopping list ref and call document and then get ID. Now we can create an object of shopping list model class. Shopping list model which is equal to new shopping list model and we need to pass three arguments. The first is the shopping the shopping list ID. The second is the shopping list name and the, and the third one is the username. Now let's get the reference shopping list lists ref call document and pass the shopping list ID as an argument and then call set and pass the shopping list model as an argument. We can add an on success listener and add a log statement. Let's say shopping list successfully created. And that's all for this video. Before testing this in our emulator, let's add a D and let's replace this with a lambda expression. I have my emulator running. Let's sign in. Let's use this account. And let's create a shopping. Let's say grocery. Let's add another one named pharmacy. Let's take a look at our database. And as you can see, our lists are successfully added to the database. In the next video, I will show you how to display our shopping list in a recycler. Hope you guys enjoy it and see you in the next video.